Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspentec channel. In our today's simulation exercise, we will simulate a continuous distillation column using Aspenhysis and we will do its performance analysis. This is part number two of our distillation exercise. In our previous exercise, which was lecture number 19, we had simulated a distillation column based on the given information of top product and its purity. But in today's exercise, we will try two different parameters and we will do the performance analysis more rigorously. So the problem statement which we have been given is that a feed mixture which consists of 0 0.05 weight percent ethane, 0 0.56 weight percent propane and 0.39 weight percent normal butane is fed to the distillation column at 17 bar, 78.7 degree centigrade and at a flow rate of 1000 kg per hour. The specifications or the parameters which are given for the column are that number of stages are 75, feed stage is 50, percentage purity of top product required is 88 mole percent propane, the flux ratio is 3, column pressure 16 bar, condenser type is total condenser and the new parameter which we are adding today is tray efficiency which is 70% and we have to do the performance analysis of the distillation column. So quickly going to Espenhysis. And as you see, I have added these three components, ethane, propane, and n-butane. And as you see, this is a hydrocarbon system. So we will select Pengrobinson as property package. Going to simulation, first we will define the material stream and we will complete the requirements of material stream. The temperature is 78.7, pressure is 17 bar, flow rate is 1000 kg per hour, and the composition is given in mass basis percentage weight percent so we will click on basis and we will choose mass fraction over here and what are the mass fraction values 0 0.05 weight percent ethane 0 0.56 weight percent propane and 0.39 weight percent and butane so i will quickly add it so i have added these ethane weight percent 0 0.05 propane weight percent 0 0.56 and n butane weight percent 0 0.39 click ok and this bar has turned green means it has converged successfully Clicking separator and selecting distillation column from here and we will click distillation column and we will first label it as distillation column. Number of stages given is 75. The feed stage is number 1 which is automatically given the stage number as 38 but our requirement is that the stage number should be 50. And we will do the connections of condenser energy stream as condenser duty type of condenser given to us as total condenser overhead liquid outlet has been labeled as top product reboiler energy stream is labeled as reboiler duty and bottom liquid out is labeled as bottom product so after doing the connection click next and make sure that the stage numbering is top down this stage is number one and so on click next and with reboiler configurations we will select by default means once to re reboiler and regular hysis reboiler click next and in this feed we have to define the pressure of the column in the previous example we had been given the condenser pressure and reboiler pressure but in this example we have been given just one information that column pressure should be 16 bar it means that throughout the column the pressure should be 16 bar it means the pressure in the condenser is 16 bar and in the reboiler is 16 bar so clicking here 16 and 16 click next and as i told in the previous video that if you have the estimates of temperature in condenser and reboiler then you can give these values over here but since these are optional and if you do not have the information about the temperatures then you can simply click next now in liquid rate the top product flow rate we have not been given any information about the top product flow rate but we have been given the information about the reflux ratio that this value is 3 and since we are given that the percentage purity of top product is 88 mole percent propane so we will select flow basis as molar so clicking done now it's unconverged if you click run then you will get this message that one or more specifications in the column flow sheet are not fully really defined it means you need to enter one more parameter over here now as you see this displayed rate tab has come now why this tab has come because when you go to monitor tab then this distillate rate is active over here. Okay, we have given reflux ratio, this should be active, but we have not been given the value of distillate rate. 
so this should be unactive now when you have untick it then you can see the degree of freedom has become one it means we have to define one more parameter over here and what will be this parameter the percentage purity of top product which is 88 mole percent propane so going back clicking add spec and you have to enter column component fraction now you are interested in getting the percentage purity of top product means that you have to select target type as stream not as a stage and you have to draw this from the top product since it is small fraction and we want the value small fraction which is 0.88 and the component is propane and as you see just you have clicked the component this bar has turned green it means the column has converged successfully now you have to just go to worksheet and you have to check the flow rates that 1000 kg per hour was fed to the column the top product which is coming out of the column is 587.6 kg per hour while that of the bottom product is 412.4 kg per hour going to the compositions as you can see the top product contains 12% ethane and 88% propane while the bottom composition is 93% n-butane approximately and approximately 7% propane now going to the performance tab as you can see the flow rates are given this is of feed and the flow rates and composition of products are given you can check the column profile that the reflux ratio you have given its value while the boiler ratio computed from this exercise is 3.838 and you can check the temperature profile the pressure profile the flow profile through the column the condenser duty and the reboiler duties are also given to you as well now going to feed products again the same way going to plots you can click on temperature and you can click view graph to view the plot similarly the pressure profile and so on you can see the different profile over here and similarly the condenser and reboiler calculated properties are also given that type of condenser and reboiler the temperature pressure duty and the flow rate are also given as well now what we have to do we haven't done our one task that we have not varied the tray efficiency which is currently 100 percent and we have to vary it to 70 percent just taking you back to column profile and just know this value that it's 3.838 remember this value because this value will change when we will come back after varying the tray efficiency so going to parameter and in efficiencies as you see this stage efficiency is one it's 100 percent now how to vary this efficiency this efficiency type is overall we will select it overall and efficiency values we will specify user defined now efficiency multi-spec it means here we will give our value which is 0 0.7 and if i click specify then as you see it hasn't specified anywhere why because it's clicked on the condenser where this efficiency value not applied if i click stage number one and if i specify it then as you see it has turned from 1 to 0 0.7 it means i have to select all these efficiencies and then i have to click the specify and as you see throughout the column the efficiency is 0 0.7 and i will just click run and i will go back to the performance tab and as you see from 3.838 it has turned to 3.788 and obviously there is a difference in temperature and pressure profile as well so that's how you simulate a distillation column and do the performance analysis of a distillation column in our next video which will be also related to the design of distillation column we will do the internal study that how internals are applied internals means the sieved trays bubble cap trays valve trays we will take just one example of it and we will apply it through the distillation column and i will show you how internal sizing is also done in this distillation column which will be part three of our video so please do watch the video like the video share with others and subscribe the channel espantech till then it's goodbye stay tuned